Good morning and welcome to the morning coffee with John Plassard. Today I'm focusing on the automotive sector. Almost one in three or 32% of all cars produced worldwide in 2019 came out of China. As shown in numbers by the Automobile Manufacturers Association, the world manufactures less cars than it did in 2014, but several Asian markets actually were able to grow their production volumes. India, for example, exhibited one of the biggest increase, almost 15% in five years to 3.6 million cars annually. The biggest decrease in production hit the airline US car industry, which lost 40% of its domestic production between 2014 and 2019. Germany also makes less cars at home, but German manufacturers like Volkswagen are a part of the rising Chinese production. In 2019, the Chinese market accounted for around 39% of Volkswagen total sales. Shifting production sites are only one aspect of the internationalization of the car industry. Know-how also migrates with production, with established manufacturers entering into joint ventures with Chinese or other Asian company, which actually include technology transfer. In terms of revenue, the Volkswagen Group, with a market cap of $72 billion, claims the top spot with $290 in gross billion dollars in gross of revenue, just ahead of Toyota with $272 billion. Capping off the list of the most valuable automaker, of course, Tesla, which generates a relative small of 24 billion in gross revenue, but has a market cap of more than 400 billion dollars. Finally, uh, it's good to keep in mind that as of 2019, only 2.5% of the world's passenger vehicles runs on electricity. This would suggest that we still have a long road ahead until we can declare electrification a reality. Thank you very much. Have a great day. Stay safe. Green my morning and keep on winning.